What is up, everybody? Kyle here. That was an awesome high five. That was actually a very, very great high five. I haven't done a little commentary type thing just over some some footage for a while, so I'm gonna get right into it. We are doing some deep deep sea fishing on the Pacific Ocean right now. Where we're at actually is not the deep sea because uh, we had already limited it out on the good fish, and now we came in to catch. They're called the uh, rockfish or sea bass, and uh, he caught all the halibut and the ling cod. Um, halibut is really good. That's most people do fish and chips with halibut. I don't know if you're um, a seafood type of person, but I love seafood. But I actually didn't get to participate because I was sick throwing up, and um, when because we had to go like 20 or, or I think it's 30 or 40 miles out, and uh, I forgot to take my Dramamine, which is what what counteracts the seasickness. And the as you can see, the seas weren't really rough. Um, right here, we're closer to shore. It was a little bit rougher out there, but but wasn't was not rough at all. And I've never got seasick. I've never got seasick before. Forgot drama mean. First time I ever got seasick, just completely destroyed my trip. I felt like shit. Didn't want to do anything. Luckily, I figured out that when I lay down, when you lay down, it, it makes you feel a lot better. So I pretty much slept the whole trip. We had this whole weekend planned. And I slept the whole trip in, until we got kind of in, in, in closer to shore and I could see the actual land and uh, felt a lot better. So I came out. We just completely destroyed these rockfish. Uh, they're super easy to catch. We, <laughs> I think the first the first time I pulled up, you can because you can have multiple hooks. I had I had two on, and then and then the guys who, who you're looking through his GoPro right now, he had three. He had another triple later in the day, and it's it was just pretty fun and it's always fun catching fish sometimes we'll go out not the ocean but other places and spend the whole day and not even get a bite uh it's a waste of resources oh yeah i forgot to mention if, if you if you don't like seeing animals hurt uh don't watch this video because it's just kind of how life i mean not not it has it's not like throughout the whole history of man that you could go to the grocery store and and uh just buy your stuff pre-packaged and that stuff all your meat pre-packaged and stuff we we like to be men and go out and fend for ourselves. and so if you feel bad for these animals i'm sorry i'm sure the bonk on the head was pretty painless and um and all their meat is being used we take the good meat we throw the bad meat to the seagulls and all the other life in the ocean so it's all a, it's all a happy friendly cycle and uh, don't look if you don't if you don't want to see a fish hurt oh you already missed it already dinked it and uh, so yeah uh i'm kind of curious you guys got any funny fishing stories usually everybody has some funny fishing stories you can throw them down in the comment section uh, this is kind of low-key first person fishing and uh it's an awesome scenery. It's in La Push, Washington. If you've never been there, I highly suggest you go check it out. It's right by Forks, where where uh, where the setting is for Twilight. So yeah, if you enjoy vampires and fishing, go to Push La Push, Washington. Peace.